Freedom First Friday here at Daytime. We are following up with Steve Hildebrand, the VP of Marketing. Last week we learned about some of the new apps and options people are using. Today we're going to answer some of the questions that people may have about using this new technology. Yeah. So welcome back and I'm glad you're here. Thank you. So tell me a little bit, what are some of the current concerns that people are having with the mobile banking and making the remote deposit? So first and foremost, uh, security is the number one question, being safe and secure online. Mm -hmm. People are, are, are generally hesitant to use a mobile phone or a mobile app to deposit checks yeah. uh, remotely. And, and we understand that. So we wanted to just assure people that it is a safe and secure process. Our IT team works really hard in the background to, to make sure everything's done done right and securely. Well, good. So mm -hmm. if they're doing things on the back end, then what can we do as consumers to protect ourselves? So uh, I try to encourage people to um, log out after they've used the system, oh, not yeah. keep the app open, try to mm -hmm. close that out, and change your password frequently. Okay, um, those are two things I'm terrible at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> it, it's hard and it's, it doesn't come naturally. So the other thing I, uh, I've started recently, which has really helped, is using the uh, a random generator for okay. passwords. So instead of using the normal passwords that you were, would for sites, uh, try to find a random generator so it, it, it constantly updates that password and you okay. can use programs to help you do that. Okay. Um, and it just throws a whole bunch of characters in, in there so that, oh, that so that's, is that something that comes up through the app that that will change? No, that's password? a separate thing that you can go to a website and kind of generate your own uh, there's there's one called uh, KeyPass that okay. that you can you can sign up for that would uh, randomly generate. So that that helps a lot. That keeps you secure and keeps the passwords constantly changing. Right. And constantly probably stranger than what you'd pick out like your dog yes. your pet's name and one two three and things like <laughs> yeah, that yeah actually but the most common password i think is password or, or password one two three okay. uh, are the most common I'll common make, ones i'll have to make a note to change that <laughs> <laughs> yeah make sure you change that if it is password i'm just kidding but yes i can see where that can uh, can be but I, but it's it's a great service that you guys offer and it mm -hmm. does make banking a whole lot easier so that's Absolutely. fun. And I want to, do want to make sure we have time to put your information up here so people can know how to log on to Freedom First and where the branches are. And it's at www.freedomfirst.com and they can learn more about uh, your banking, right? Yeah, absolutely. They can they can learn a lot from the website th themselves. There's a uh, mobile app page okay. that we answer a lot of questions that like we talked about today okay. on our website that they can go there. They can download the apps from there. We have two apps. We have a mobile banking app and a mobile plus app. Okay. So um, we really want people to, to download those apps to make it easier. Yeah. But we just wanted to stress again that you know it's important to go to online banking, sign up for the deposit anywhere service, so right. you can you can do the remote deposit checks right. uh, and change your mobile information so we can text you and let you know when your balance is available and then uh, download those those apps. So there is a process yeah. to, to take place. Yes, thank you. That's very helpful and we appreciate you coming in. Oh, my so. pleasure. Thank you. Thanks.